My friend, it is so good to see you back. Today, we are going to close out the week with a new workout brought to you by the Incinerate System, high-intensity kettlebell workouts that will burn fat and build endurance. Today's WAD is going to be a 20-minute AMRAP workout, meaning you're going to perform as many rounds of the prescribed exercises within a 20-minute time cap. This workout is intended to be performed at your own pace, so if you can't keep up with the video, slow it down and do what you can. At the same time, I want you to push yourself. I don't want you to take time off and I don't want you to kick your feet up at any point. Your heart rate should be high and you should be challenged throughout the course of today's workout. Let me break it down for you so you know what's in store. You're kicking things off with five repetitions of the kettlebell push-up on each side. From there, you'll move to 10 repetitions of the plank pull through in each direction, and then move on to plank bell taps for 10 repetitions each hand. Lastly, you're gonna finish things off with a dead bug iso press for 10 repetitions with each of your legs. Let's put 20 minutes on the clock and get ready. We're starting with five repetitions of the kettlebell push-up on each side. Good luck today. The intent of today's workout is to fatigue that core and build endurance in that musculature that is so important for your performance. With plank bell taps, the farther the bell is out in front of you, the more you have to reach and the more stabilization that will be required of your core. Just make sure you're keeping your back in a neutral position when performing this exercise. The dead bug iso press is an exercise that will build core endurance and pressing endurance at the same time. Make sure you focus on keeping your arms locked out and straight and your core braced throughout the entire movement. If you're keeping up with the video, that's one round down. Moving back to kettlebell push-ups, five repetitions each side. Pause at the top and bottom of each repetition to get the most out of this exercise.
putting the pieces together, you should be sensing a theme up to this point. Not only are all of the exercises core endurance exercises, but they all involve keeping your spine in a neutral position. This is lacking in traditional strength training programs and is important to keep you safe when performing this style of exercise. During the dead bug static press, the closer you bring your heels to the floor with each repetition, the more stabilization that will be required of your core. Try to get your heels as close to the ground as possible, as long as you can do so without pain and without compromising your technique. Because today's workout is all about stabilization, it's what I want you to focus on during the performance of this set and every set. In pulling the kettlebell from side to side, make sure those hips stay in place and your core is braced to control the movement. Alright, how are you holding up so far? Have you been able to keep up? You are almost halfway done, you have about 10 minutes remaining. Stay focused and keep pushing yourself, you can do this.
push-up is often thought of as a remedial exercise, but in actuality, it is an amazing functional pressing movement that will build strength, power, and stability if performed properly. Plank belt taps will test you in a very similar way to the plank pull through and the kettlebell push up. It's another way to build core, chest, and arm musculature endurance while adding a little bit of dynamic movement to the mix. The ability to maintain control when slowly descending through each repetition of the push-up and the powerful pressing out of the bottom position has applications in establishing better control over your body during prolonged periods of tension, such as when trying to establish control of an opposition when grappling. Plank pull through is an exercise that will not only build strength in the sagittal plane from front to back, but also rotational power, which will assist in your ability to change directions during athletic feats.
You have less than five minutes left, which means you are more than three quarters of the way there. Keep going. You can do this. You're almost done. about two minutes remaining, which if you stay committed, you should have time for about two more sets. Let's knock this out. All right, my friend, we've made it this far, and if you're keeping up with the video, we're gonna make this next set our last set. You have 10 repetitions of the plank pull through in each direction, and then you are done. Let's make it your best set. 